Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet & Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal. In the last session, we went to Aquados and Tyrannosis and basically just, like, took out two of two of Dr. Nefarious's, like, biggest places. Like, just took them out. Uh, and now it's time to go to his secret weapons facility where he is planning on building a super weapon, and we're gonna see if we can put a stop to that. So let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Anyway, let's see. Oh, we have no new weapons. That's a major bummer. Well, it's okay then, because uh, I know that we're getting something really nice on this planet. Uh, not weapon, not a weapon per se, but something a lot better. Well, maybe not a lot better, but yeah. And this uh, swing shot course is the right way to go. I thought my game was gonna freeze right there. I was ready to cry Bloody Mary. Okay, um, actually, I wonder what's up that way, because... Up that way is... Huh. Well, I guess then there's three paths. I don't know what the third path leads to. Actually, wait, no. I have an idea of where it might lead to. Whatever. Point is, let's go up here because there's a really nice item we can pick up. That's, uh... The way... The way, uh... Al sounded, it sounded like we have to go this way. Which is weird because the item over here is optional. Or, like, you'd think it would be optional, but I guess it isn't. Maybe we're just going for that computer terminal, I guess. I'm gonna shut up now and blow up some crates and probably try to avoid that helicopter that's firing rackets at us. Is this the first, uh, like, water water kind of level that we've been to? I'm gonna be honest, uh, Planet Dax is actually one of my more favorite levels in the game. I just really like the look of the place and... There's some fun sections like this one right here. I remember this section being fun at least. I was deadly wrong! <laughs> Whoops. Getting closer and closer to 50 nanotech, so that's nice. And sure, I'm OCD, so let's just pull up every single explosive crate that we can. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Guess you don't need that uh, dynamo panel. Whoa! Ratchet, why? There we go. The swing shot's really cool. Yeah, it, the obstacle course is related. Did that dynamo panel, like, pop open without... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Was that something back there? Excuse me? That was weird. I... Presser. Oh, you know what? I, I'm assuming I had the plasma whip, like equipped, and I did a slam attack with the plasma whip. Uh, so maybe the switching to the swing shot isn't as like foolproof because some like it's constantly switching back to your old, uh, old weapon. Still, you know what? I take this any day over constantly going to the quick select to select it. Okay. I swear I didn't press the button. Ratchet, please hit the dynamo panel when when you uh, do the thingy. Okay, yeah, it's right here. Uh, okay, no, there was an invisible wall. I tried to get into that satellite dish, or, or at least the platform on it. Maybe there was a bolt there, but no, there's an invisible wall, and it almost ended up killing me. Screw you, Rocket Man. Burn it out as fumes. What the flying fuck was that? Okay, so note to self, run away because there's pillars that fall down and kill you. God damn it! What are the odds of that pillar hitting me? I really seriously doubt that the game designers intended for that to actually happen. That was ridiculous. Yeah, does this take us back to the ship? Yeah, okay. 
because uh, right over here is a mini boss. This is for killing me with that giant pillar. Break out the mini turret. See if you can handle that. I threw that mini turret off the platform. Whoops. Ow. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. Okay, uh, sure we'll pull up shot cannon. You know, locking on is a bit, uh, cumbersome. You have to hold both triggers, uh, to lock on to an enemy. Uh, but strafing pretty much keeps you locked on. It's just you don't get that, like, locked on health bar, which is kind of pointless because, like, enemies that aren't bosses die way too quickly, and bosses have health bars at the bottom of the screen, so having that health bar there is a bit pointless. Uh, let's, uh, pull out the Annihilator. Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. I guess it's called the Ed, the We have 20 shots with this? Oh, let's go nuts then. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh yeah, that leveled up the Annihilator by like like a quarter of its entire bar. That was sweet. Uh, okay then. Let's uh, get across here and sweet. Check it out. Looks like somebody's a big fan of Courtney Gears. Courtney who? Come on, remember that bombshell handing out prizes on Annihilation Nation? Vaguely. Uh, yes, her specifications were remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not the hottest pop star in the galaxy because of her singing. That is odd. It appears this computer was recently used to edit one of her music videos. Oh, let's watch what? it! What? I, I mean, you know, it may contain a clue or something. Roger, for God's sakes. <laughs> What is with my what is with my life? Huh. <laughs> well, that just happened. Hmm. Miss Gears may be in league with Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, who knew? She always seems so sweet and innocent in her videos. Well, except for that one with the... You know... She might have information about what Nefarious is planning. Oh, right. And if we win that grand the control. prize on Annihilation Nation, we'll get another chance to talk to her. What, what the fuck just happened? Oh wow, that's great, pinups. Okay, seriously, that just happened. And that's weird. I could have sworn that we get, we get a, uh, we get a reward for going this path. I guess it's on that other path up the cliff. Whoa! No! 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 Ah! Oh, there's a damn. Oh. My OCD makes me want to go get that bolt, but I'm not even going to use it, so... Uh, no, I'm not going to get it. I, I almost died. It'd be hilarious if I died and it brought me back there. That like That's one of the easiest platinum bolts ever. You just take that little dynamo and then jump on the platform and ride down, and there's an easy titanium bolt if you're interested in that sort of crap. But I'm not, so let's just ignore that, and my OCD is not going to let me sleep tonight. I'm just going to be kept up kept up with, with nightmares of... Man, the, the Ratchet LP was going was going pretty good, but then that one titanium bolt, I, I missed it. I'll never be able to get a turn. I'll never be able to get it! Oh my god! Closes the count. Thanks, Insomniac. You ruined Christmas. Okay, let's keep going. 
I get the strange suspicion in this area that there's going to be a, uh, a, uh, a trophy hidden somewhere around here. I don't know, it's just a hunch I have. Wow, the Annihilator can take out those guys in two shots. That's pretty crazy. You know this, uh, this lush, like, pl like weird plant-filled area? It reminds me of... <laughs> I, w I want you to sound off in the comments for any of you who've ever heard of this game. Scalar. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the game Scalar on GameCube? And I think it was on Xbox and PS2. This very unknown platformer that was trying to be the next big thing, and it very unsuccessful. It's a decent game, and I'm one of the few on the planet who owns it. I don't know. It's just this, this uh, plant life kind of reminds me of that game. And maybe I'll get around to it one day get three views for the three people that know what Scalar is. Uh, ow! Screw you, man. <laughs> this guy obviously doesn't like Scalar. <laughs> okay. Uh, pl plasma? We are really close to never having to use this crappy weapon again. Although, I will be honest. Uh, oh, this looks like a secret. We can get up here. Uh, no, don't die, Ratchet. I'm assuming if you fall into the water, even if it is just nice, pure water, I'm assuming that's an insta-kill. It's weird that if you fall in the water, like, even if there's sharks... Oh, well, I guess, yeah, the sharks, but I was just thinking, like, if I fall, fell in the water, it would be that, like, animation where Ratchet, like, sinks into the water and dies. <laughs> like, as if it's sludge or something. Even though, like... Water's like the purest liquid on Earth. Well, not on Earth right now. It's one of the purest liquids in the universe, though. And before I get a couple of comments that are like, well, actually, Turner, uh, science has proven that Mountain Dew is in fact the purest drink known to known to man. God damn it, evil fish! Okay, let's try this again. This time we're gonna throw out some defenses so we don't uh, end up dying. Ow. Yeah, their bullets do a lot of damage, so we're hopefully not going to have that happen again, because the mini turrets just take care of them. And these guys are leveling up the uh, Annihilator really fast. Like, if I wanted, I could just die right now and, like, just fight those five giant robots again, and, like, I, the Annihilator might level up. Like, that's how much these guys are giving me. But, no, I don't, I'm not going to really uh, abuse enemy experience in this playthrough unless you know what no I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and refrain from um, like going through a section and then dying and then doing it again to level up let's let's try and do this this LP grind list I think I did the last two ratchet games without grinding so uh, yeah we'll do that again and hey we're about to level up uh, we're about to level up uh, fuck uh, our nanotech Anyway, here's the gadget that I thought we were going to get on the other path, and this is the item that I've been waiting for the entire game because it just makes it a whole lot quicker. The Charge Boots return. Double tap R1 to blast off with the Charge Boots. Uh, so let's just quickly see if they are uh, equipped. Yes, they are. Okay, good. Um, it automatically equipped them, so that was nice. Uh, I was right, there was a trophy. Look at that. I had I had this gut feeling that isn't there a trophy in this section somewhere? I don't know. Weird. Uh, anyway, uh, the charge boots uh, return from Ratchet 2, and they do the exact same thing. Uh, unfortunately, we're not really in a wide plane for me to do this, but here I'll go over here and show you what they do. Uh, if you remember from Ratchet 2, the charge boots are basically just uh, if you double tap R1, you do this, and that's pretty much how you get around now. Yeah, no more uh, doing this. Pretty much this is the way to go, because look how fast that is. Okay. So let's uh, hop on this hover taxi right here. Nope, not this one. It's uh, over here. And we'll uh, hop over here and take this elevator up to the other part of the facility. Uh, wait, just one second. I just want to really make sure that... Wow, there is actually... there's nothing. That's a shame. Okay. 